peering involves the elimination of funding requirements by creatively sharing rewards with other stakeholders that can benefit from a unique company. It does not include the use of government funds that give support to innovative, exporting, and young local companies, including those that are minority-owned or that fulfill special requirements. That is what I call granting and will be discussed later. For now, let's talk about disappearing. An example of funds disappearing is asking for free advice from a consultant friend, asking for volunteers to take on the role of employees, using space or equipment for free, traveling with frequent flyer miles, and brand flattering. Brand flattering is the process where the image of a company or institution benefits from an association with another one, typically for a good cause. I use disappearing extensively in my businesses and for many of my clients. I develop a process that is easy to understand and apply by following a five-step plan. Step one, define the uses of capital. Examples of uses of capital include salaries, rent, transport, supplies, packaging, marketing, legal fees, import duties, storage. Imagine every single possible invoice that needs to be paid. Step two, identify the larger impact of the company in stakeholders and the community. As a general rule, most organizations provide jobs and pay taxes, but there are some less obvious benefits, such as that extra traffic brought into an area when a new store is opening. Step three, discover the natural allies of the project, organization, or company. This third step involves evaluating the different stakeholders. Typical stakeholders are owners, employees, and clients. I prefer instead to look for natural allies or collaborators. For example, years ago, a commercial airline painted some of their planes in a chocolate candy theme. The candy factory paid for it, and it was good for both brands. Mm -hmm. Step four, create effective propositions. Crafting an interesting proposition is critical, as we're not trained to think about collaboration, but about competition. Try this approach. You don't want to miss this opportunity. Rather than this approach, I need your help, otherwise I'm done. And step five, plan an adequate follow-up. On many occasions, plans fail, and there is a need to make the necessary adjustments. A good example of a follow-up plan is to delineate clear goals and expected procedures. Disappearing avoids conventional norms of practice. It relies on the input from stakeholders. It is guided by the beliefs and desires of participants, and is very, very dynamic. Thus, it is critical to be flexible and focus on making sure there are benefits, mostly non-financial, to those who participate.